Hey guys, Tech Mentor with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to talk about the iPhone SE first generation, if it's still worth it going into 2024. Everything you need to know, whether you're using this phone currently, think about buying it or even upgrading from it. Everything you need to know about the iPhone SE first generation, let's talk about it. So this first generation is the very first one that was released in March of 2016. So this is uh, the first edition because there was a second and a third edition that's came out since then apple does sell a third edition currently on apple's website but originally this was the first sc that was introduced as you can see here really small form factor it's a 4.8 4.0 display which is really small and compact and you notice this bezel design which was brought back starting with the iphone 12 lineup from going from round and then back to this design so this is a classic design here as you can see here this is a space gray one there is a gold edition one as well it's a really pocket size phone i would say back then now it does have a lot of features uh, when it came out there was pretty much a lot of exciting features for it but this uh, metal made stylish body looks pretty cool it does come with the a9 apple chip with two gigs of ram now other thing you probably wanted to know about is its battery size if you look in the battery size it has a 1624 mh battery which is rated to give you about uh, 13 hours of course that's if it's at 100 percent if it's lower than that you're not going to get that now if you compare it to the new iphone 15 model which gives you around 20 hours you're getting almost a little less than half on this one when it's a used iphone now other thing we want to talk about is the camera here the back camera is a 12 megapixel camera and the front selfie camera it's just only 1.2 megapixel camera basically the camera again you can't really compare it with something newer just because of the age of it but you'll be surprised to know you can actually record in 4k oh, in 30 frames per second and it has things like slow-mo time lapse available option as well and also has square and panel as well so good feature in terms of not the greatest camera but does have some other features of it now another thing we want to talk about and it's probably the biggest thing when it comes to this phone it's going to be is software so if you notice here the iphone se released in 2016 which makes it now little over eight years since it's been released which means that the phone is old and now it originally was released on ios 9 unfortunately it doesn't get ios 16 also the preview is showing here it only gets ios 15 which again almost six generation of major update which is pretty good and it's compared to the iphone 6 as as well but right now we're on ios 17 and being on ios 15 is uh two ios is older which apple still does give those security updates on it it just doesn't get the major updates so if you go into your settings go to general software update occasionally you'll see these security or bug fixes that apple releases which you can download and install but you cannot get again i was 16 or 17 and later this year i was 18 will come out it will be pretty much a three year old in terms of the iOS update on it, which means a lot of the apps might stop working. Now, some of the apps work, it's a hit or miss, about 75% of the apps will work. Uh, most of your major apps are still supported on iOS 15. There are some newer apps that will just not be supported. And again, it depends on what app you use the most here. As you can see here, I have some of the more popular apps, they seem to work. Now, it does take a moment or two to load. Sometimes you have to wait 10 seconds 15 seconds to get it started here but when it does it will work for you and talking about the pros and cons of this phone which will probably make the big decision is that it's really cheap to get you can probably score this for under $50 it's a small phone so if you like the small compact phone this phone is probably for you it has a physical sim card which as you know with the iPhone uh, 14 or above there is no physical sim card on the us model it does have that touch id home button as well and this phone comes down to basically like a backup phone or a phone if you're just looking to simply use it for calling and texting that's probably the most you're going to be probably doing it and when it comes to browsing you're not going to get that much of speed it will do browsing light but because of the small factor it probably isn't the greatest phone from it and again as i mentioned the cons is it's going to be slow uh, apps are not going to start to work it doesn't get any more major update the battery isn't good the camera again lacks some of the newer features overall it's a decision will come to you us we're going to say this phone is only good for a backup phone probably not worth it to get it but if you're using it it's probably at the last straw before it completely uh, becomes obsolete later this year but for now it will work for you but consider upgrading to iphone 
11 or later if you can get a used one now there are uh, Amazon which you can get it for a really good discounted price on the new iPhone but this phone is probably gonna be end of it for it now if you want to get that there is the second generation or third generation which are still great devices and the third one third generation you can actually buy from apple's website so that's our review from i want to hear from you guys what's your thought on the iphone sc first generation if you used it or currently using it thinking about using it upgrading it from it leave a comment in the comment section we'd love to hear what you guys have to say thanks for watching guys see you guys next time